What's up guys, it's Meaty Mike. Thanks for coming out. Today, we are smoking up some antelope chorizo burgers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on in. Come on in. We have an exciting cook going on today with some antelope and pork chorizo. And to my right here, I have one pound of ground antelope, which it's a more common wild game meat. And the first thing I think about when I see ground antelope is a juicy wild game burger. So that's what we're going to do today with the antelope. And then next to that, we have a quarter pound of pork chorizo. And this is really easy to find too. You can get it bought in sausages. You can get it mild. You can get it spicy. It's a good complement to our antelope meat. But first, before we mix that together, before I get my hands all dirty, I have four sweet onions here because we want to caramelize some onions in the smoker with our burgers throughout the whole cook. So I just want to cut these up and get them in a pan and put them to the side before we start mixing up our meat. So we're just going to cut up our sweet onions. Just like that. And four onions might seem like a lot, but remember when you caramelize onions, they're gonna cook down a lot. You might even need more, depending on how many burgers you're gonna make. Four should do the trick. And we're just gonna do that with all four of our onions. All right, we got our onions chopped up. We're gonna grab a cast iron pan to put our onions in. And I have one stick of unsalted butter that I already have cut up in the thirds. Get your onions, break them up, put them in your pan. All right, we got our onions in the pan. From here, you can prep these however you'd like to prep your onions to caramelize them. You can add more butter, you can add some salt, some brown sugar, however you gotta do it, do it your own way. But we're gonna put these to the side right now and then get our burgers together. Get some gloves on. Get a mixing bowl. We're gonna add our pork chorizo and our ground antelope and just start to mix it together into a good mixture. All right, and then from here, we have a half a cup of breadcrumbs, panko. Mix them on up. Beautiful, nicely done. From here, you're gonna add your seasoning or your spices. And I have here some wild game seasoning from PS Seasoning. You can use any combination of spices or a different seasoning of your choice. And we're just eyeballing it. I'm just putting a little bit in there and mixing it up. But I'm gonna say about one to two tablespoons will be a perfect amount to evenly distribute flavor to our antelope and pork chorizo. A little bit more. I like it, I like it. Mix it on up and now, get your mixture out of your bowl and form your patties. And you can make these however thick, however thin you like depending on how many you need to make. I think that looks pretty good, just like that. All right, so I have three good size antelope chorizo burgers. We're ready, let's go pop them in the smoker. All right, y'all, we're out here at the Gorilla Grill Silverback. We got it going at 225 degrees. I'm using some gourmet barbecue pellets from Bear Mountain Barbecue to fuel this cook. I also have my Shark Outdoors barbecue smoker box. I'm adding in some pellets from the hopper, getting a good char on them for a few minutes and let them light, then adding some hickory wood chips for some more smoke flavor. This process for our antelope chorizo burgers is pretty simple. I'm not even flipping them. I'm putting them right on the grill grates and letting them roll. Depending on if you get your pork chorizo raw, which usually it is, remember we gotta cook our pork as well. So I'm looking to take this to an internal temp of 145 degrees. I have my meter plus monitoring the internal temp on our burgers, set it up on the app to call me at 140, because when it hits 140, then we're gonna come out and put the cheese on our burgers. You're looking at a total cook time of an hour and a half to two hours, depending how thick you made your burgers. 
Remember to come out every half hour or so as well to stir up your onions. That'll be the perfect amount of time to get those nice and caramelized. So when we hit 140 degrees, we'll come out and put on our cheese. So stick around. So here we are, the meter plus is calling me at 140. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, those burgers are looking good. Some great color on our onions. Now we're just gonna add our cheese. I just have some slices of Gouda cheese. You can use any kind of cheese that you want. Close up the lid. So we're just about done. We still have the meter plus going in our burger to call us at 145. So when we hit our internal temp, we'll pull them and eat. And with that, our antelope chorizo burgers are done. And y'all, these look really good they have some great color on them we melted that gouda cheese i just kind of laid out all of my toppings right on my cutting board i can't wait to put this burger together we smoked these burgers at 225 degrees until an internal temp of 140 added our cheese and took it to an internal temp of 145 that's when we pulled them caramelized our onions throughout that whole process stirred them up good i have some toppings that i'm going to add on here get whatever toppings you like get whatever buns you want to use but i'm not wasting any time putting together our burgers start with some arugula good old arugula at the bottom of our burger then i got one sliced mater for each Add your burger on top of the mater. Man, just, I'm diving in right with my hands. I don't give a gosh darn. Top your caramelized onions, pile them on. Make a mess, don't matter none. Got some pickle chips here. Throw those on. Some banana pep pep. Then I just have a spicy mayo mixture. Just use three tablespoons of mayo and then one tablespoon each of ketchup, sriracha. Pile it on your buns. And there you have it. Some antelope chorizo burgers. Look at those. Let's get them front and center. Man, these look really good. Now you just got to dive on in and enjoy. I'm just picking one of these bad boys up, taking a big bite. <clears throat> I'm a mess, but I don't care. That's worth it. So good. You have some good smoke flavor on that antelope. That pork chorizo is perfect with that antelope meat. That spicy mayo with those caramelized onions. That's a good burger. Mm. Antelope meat. Ooh. Antelope meat, not overly gamey. Think of deer meat or bison. So good, a good lean meat. That pork chorizo adds some good spice, some good fat. That wild game seasoning from PS Seasoning takes it to that whole other level. Mm. Prime time, baby. Man, definitely one of the best wild game burgers that I've ever made personally. Do yourself a favor, get some antelope meat. Get some pork chorizo, pop them in your smoker. You're going to have some awesome, juicy, wild game burgers. You're going to love them. Thanks for coming out. Stay tuned for the next video.